This is the Liverpool Theatre School where I trained from, probably joined here when I was about 12, every Saturday morning and then when I left school I come full time, um, college, kind of performing arts and then when I went away dancing and singing on different shows I then come back to teach, I used to teach musical theatre here and um, jazz and different classes so I will show you around. Quite trendy then. <laughs> <laughs> well, like panda or something. <laughs> um, obviously, when I was entered for Pop Idol, I was here teaching at the time, so it was lovely because they come um, TV company come and film me actually te teaching a class at all the children. And um, obviously, the school really got behind me and had everyone voting for me, so it was a really good time actually. Um, this was one of the last pantomimes I done actually. It was Dick Whittington. And I was playing the part of um, Alice, who obviously is, you know, the principal girl. I think um, that might have been the last one I've done actually, when I was still doing like shows and theatre stuff. And then I completely said, right, no, I was going to completely concentrate on recording and writing. But I used to dip in and out of the shows previously, just to kind of keep my hand in performing. Yeah, I used to teach in this room as well. I um, used to put different shows on, you know, for them and their mums to come on a Saturday and stuff. So yeah, I'm used to used to being in this studio. It was quite funny getting to know the different little personalities that each child had and, and watching them coming on as well during the class. I really enjoyed it. Everyone else in the theatre school wanted to actually be in, in musical theatre and, you know, they just have a, a role in the West End. And yeah, I was the one that actually wanted to do songwriting and recording and, and be a, a pop artist. And actually, although I'd done me training here, this probably stood me in really good stead, but it was never going to take me to the career that I really wanted. And I was actually listening to discussions on TV after Glastonbury with Beyonce headlining it and the costumes she wore. And yeah, obviously she's coming at it from a performance point of view and me growing up with performance, you know, all this kind of showgirl sequence, leotards, okay, it's kind of what is part and parcel of the show and has been for decades, you know, at the end of the day, it's all entertainment. So, like, total focus. The total focus doesn't mean boring. Yeah, so I'm going to still perform without changing the performance that you've rehearsed so often, either with myself or you and whoever. Yeah, it can still be accurate, but it can still be a performance. It's a bit Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah. Before it was fashionable. Yeah. She was ahead of her times, <laughs> to say the least. And just in case she's missed her, there's Miss Maxine. There you go. No, I don't think so. That does See? not to be on film. It's our view, not me. Yeah. me into your office, shouldn't I? As I've said many times before, come into my office, Joanne. <laughs> Joanne started when she was about 12 on a Saturday. And I wasn't the patientest of teachers at that time <laughs> and Joanne used to come to the class and I used to take her for tap and she wasn't the most naturally gifted at tap either. Can you elaborate? The flat feet didn't help. She had no balls shall we say at that time but she developed them. She's always had you know determination and everything that's why she's here where she is today and obviously there's a talent there because she did pop stars um, got on that program, mm. which again, I think when she got through to the finals, but I think when she got through to the finalists, she was given the wrong choice of song and a very dodgy costume. <laughs> I don't think that helped. No. 
but that wasn't down to me at that time so that's okay and my father and that yeah, was my own choice <laughs> yeah so uh, but no I mean she deserves to be where she is because of her determination and her talent really thank you very much mm. yeah don't come back to the school. 